Welcome to The Rock Focus, a podcast for writers, newbies, and veterans, and everyone in between. We're hosted by M.A. Lee with the assistance of Remy Black and Edie Rooms, all from Writers, Inc. Books. Our focus is productivity, process, craft, and tools. Each episode lasts as long as it takes to fix a quick dinner, drive a short commute, or take a brisk walk. Resources and links are in the show notes. Visit us at therockfocus.blogspot.com. Now, on to this week's episode. All through June and July, the Rock Focus podcast turns its lens to the Summer Writing Challenge, 61 Days of Writing, as well as presenting all the other tasks in the writing business. In addition to tracking our progress on writing projects, we'll cover market copy, cover designers, promotional posts and newsletters, as well as audio projects. These are just a sample of the myriad additional tasks performed by every writer, indie or traditionally published. Posts covering the previous week's work will be recorded on Tuesday evenings and published on Wednesday mornings. Join us as we detail the accomplishments and failures for every writer's summer challenge. In our excitement with the next new sparkly project, we writers can dash ahead rather than taking the time to finish, to complete all the ending tasks, not just stop and move on, but complete them totally done and needing nothing more. No tinkering, no final pat-down, over, shelved or filed. I have a tendency to leave certain projects incomplete once the major part is done, and I move on to the next project that will consume the vast amount of my time. I'm guilty of not squeezing around the primary new project to handle all the little finishing tasks. Those are easy to finish, yet, well, part of the problem is that I don't really schedule them to be done. Those finishing tasks leave active memory or keep procrastinating them because I haven't assigned a deadline. They can just sit and linger while I'm into the new sparkly project. The other part of the problem is that, while easy, These finishing tasks can be time-consuming and tedious. White-hot creativity is burning, and I want that energy on the sparkly new, not a tedious click-click-click task. Uploading audio files to an audiobook distributor is one of those tedious click-click-click tasks. For example, last year, around the start of summer, I finished the series Discovering Characters for this podcast. The book version, electronic and print, was already published. Only the audio files had to be uploaded with a 25-second opening, a 20-second closing, and a three-minute sample to create, then upload everything, and I'm done. When did I finally do this? At the first of this year. I had procrastinated while I pursued new projects. I didn't add this project to my schedule, except as a nebulous discovering characters upload. The files will not, on their own, compile themselves into an audiobook. Guilt finally kicked me enough. I completed the upload, and guilt's been kicking me since because I've sold several copies of the audiobook since. That's majorly missed opportunities. I just finished the Defeat Writer's Block series three weeks ago. Audio files are waiting in the folder. I need to set up opening, closing, and sample files. The covers, ebook, paperback, and audiobook are done. All I need to do is draft the chapters from my own rough version and check those against the audio files, then proofread and format. Then I can publish. That project then will be the first part of my writing challenge. Defeat Writer's Block as an audiobook, ebook, and paperback. 
The second part of my writing challenge is to finish the third short story collection in the Wild Sherwood series, Total Fiction Work. I already have the covers for this, five short stories and the anthology collection, six published titles, therefore. One short story will be a freebie. While the short stories will be only electronic, the collection will publish as ebook, paperback, and audiobook. Following that will be a big bundle of all three short story collections in the Wild Sherwood series as ebook and paperback. I will need to generate audio files of the 10 other short stories before I can publish a big bundle audiobook. Recording and mastering is tedious work, so I'm looking at time squeezed out for additional creative writing. Yet I'm going to plan all of these projects as part of the Summer Writing Challenge because they're all part of the writer's job. Writing stories from ideas on blank page to finished manuscript and all the additional tasks to getting a manuscript ready for publishing creating a manuscript from a rough document, my rough draft is handwritten, and creating audio files with the additional required files, then compiling them onto an audio book distributor. That's a huge task. I know many of these writers hire some of these jobs out. Proofreaders, developmental editors, I don't use those. I'll explain the reason, but that reason has an awful lot to do with Judy Delton's statement back in the Defeat Writer's Block series, that she needed to become her own idea generator rather than depending on a friend. As for audio files, I like knowing the story I'm listening to is narrated by the author. So I think some readers might prefer that as well. The third part of this writing challenge will be reporting on the other tasks, all of the other tasks that writers do. The affluent writers, the ones flush with cash that we all envy, they hire assistants to handle these tasks. The rest of us do them ourselves. Creating and scheduling promotions on my website, newsletter promotions, and the podcast episodes for this challenge. Before I ever begin then, this summer challenge is packed. I've given myself two months. Surely I can manage that. I know I won't be working on the challenge on two days of every week, and that might translate on some weeks to three days. That's the way life goes. If you're looking for a solid month of writing only, the Right Focus offered that in April, a couple of years back, with a short daily post and writing. Only word count. The series is called A Book in a Month. For this challenge, though, here are the logistics. A a once-a-week check-in with tasks completed since the previous check-in. I record the episode on Tuesday evening for publication on Wednesday morning. Those check-ins will proclaim my accomplishments in the previous seven days as well as admit to my failures from those disruptions and distractions that life throws at us as well as any of those plain do-nothing days that slide into our schedules and guilt us into depression. So here we are on May 29. What are my plans for this day and the next two before the challenge begins in earnest on Saturday? First, how will I plan the work to stay on track as well as maintain healthy habits? Second, how will I keep writing new words every day? Third, what will be my rewards and when will I celebrate achievements? For planning, I know my brain and my gut. I'm better with the task list, broken into smaller increments, than a daily strict schedule. The task list needs to last about three working days. Otherwise, when disruptions occur, I'll just throw up my hands and call the day gone. So I need a master plan and a three-day plan with next steps. I can handle about four tasks on a single uninterrupted day. I need to properly break down each task Recording a 20-minute audio file chapter is actually two tasks, recording and mastering. So today, I'll create the master list of all tasks, then I'll sketch out the three-day plan and jot down next steps. 
I always jot down next steps because some tasks may go more quickly than anticipated. To the master list, I'll also add some tasks not related to writing, such as paying bills and working on my budget, as well as running errands or going to appointments or gatherings. This challenge is not an all-out word count push, like the November Novel Writing Month, when we totally devote ourselves to writing words and limit everything else to the have-tos and should-dos. Here we are, then, with our introduction to the Summer Writing Challenge done. First check-in will be the first Wednesday in June, reporting on the previous seven days, this Wednesday to Tuesday evening. With my eyes shut, I can already tell you four tasks for Tuesday, drafting the Wednesday episode, recording it, and then mastering it, as well as uploading and handling all the info and my minimal promo for it. I'll try to squeeze in an additional task on Tuesday, but we'll see. This is it then, our introduction to the Summer Writing Challenge. Take these last days of May to create your own master plan and starting task list. Then check in next Wednesday to match your accomplishments to mine. Until then, ride on. Thanks for listening to The Rock Focus, a podcast for writers at all levels, hosted by Emma Lee from Writers Inc. Books, assisted by Remy Black and Edie Runes. Our focus is productivity, process, craft, and tools. Music is licensed through Audio Jungle called Background Music Loop. Its creator is Alexander Polishchuk, known on Audio Jungle as Plastic 3. The music comes in different iterations. Show notes and resource links for this and other episodes can be found at therightfocus.blogspot.com. Write to us at winkbooks at aol.com when you have questions, comments, and speculations. We will try to answer you as quickly as possible. By the way, we will not mind your email address. That's rude. If you find value in our content, share with your writing friends or write a review. We're small beans here without the advertising budget of the big peeps, and you can make a difference. And whatever occurs, right on.